Hey guys, <clears throat> seems like uh, you really enjoyed the uh, last couple of videos there, especially the last one on this uh, Spectrum Analyzer. And uh, with over just about 900 views on, the, on that one video alone. So I figured, you know something? Let's continue with the with that. Um, I'm going to try and put this board together. We'll do that on this video. We'll install all the parts on the board. And then over the weekend, <coughs> we can try it. Try this out there with my scope, sill scope. And uh, maybe we can try it with the uh, DX160. Real Radio Shack, realistic DX160. See if it'll work with her. So, yeah. Let's, uh... Let's see what we can do with this. I think this, uh, like I said, a lot of people, well, a lot of most of you, uh, are, uh, seem to enjoy it. So, the last video. So, why not? Why not? Why not, uh, capitalize on that last video? And do another one. So, there's the parts. I don't know if all the parts are there, but now that I have a uh, schematic of it and whatnot, we can certainly give it a whirl. I mean, that there, that's a, that's a sealed bag, taped over. So, I guess we can assume, can we assume, that uh, everything is in this. So you got the uh, inductor here, three different reactor diodes. Of course, we got the circuit board. You got a couple resistors. Not sure if that's part of the kit or not. But anyway, let's uh, open this up. Let's see what we got here. Get the old scissors. Like I said, not sure if these resistors are part of this or not. But uh, this is the the parts right there. And again. This is the circuit board. 73's magazine. March 9th, 1990. Is it 1990 that the last video was from? Or the, the board was from? Anyway, I can't remember now. But, here we have it. How the 16 dip socket is supposed to fit in this thing? I'm still a bit lost on that one because the holes don't quite line up. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird how this uh, socket here is supposed to work. <clears throat> I guess let's. Uh, mess around with it here a little bit and see if we can't figure it out. Maybe. It's only a 16 pin dip socket. How hard going to be? <laughs> How hard can it be? First thing, how hard going to be to get rid of this protective uh, thing that you got this in? There you go. Must be full there, right? Of course not. Of course not. I've got everything sticking and everything here. Everything sticking to everything. Oh, 
only remotely. Oh, uh, me. There, there we go. Any better? So, 16 dip. 16 pin dip. How in the world is this supposed to fit that board? I have no idea. Can you cut these board? Can you cut these down? I never actually did it before, so I don't know if you can actually cut these sockets. I mean, it doesn't fit it. It doesn't line. It doesn't line up. Well, it kind of do, but don't. And if you bend pins out, it still doesn't fit right. I don't know. I don't know, folks. Hmm. I can't see how this can fit. Any of you bend the pins. Because it doesn't line up the side side holes there either, see? They don't line up. So I'm thinking what we actually need here is a four pin. 4 pin dip, or 8 pin dip I should say. Because that's all this 555 is. I say 8 pin dip, 8 pin chip, 4 on one side, 4 on the other is 8. Let me see if I can find a 4 pin, or 8 pin, jeez. Okay, so. I should find an 8 pin dip. That's uh, way better. So, what we need to do right off the bat, according to the way the board's laid out, um, one of the pins. Specifically, this pin here. Can't be on the board. Or it can't go through the board. Just physically can't go through. So I'll just bend it out of the way. And I guess we'll just stick her on in there. Now, is that gonna get in the way of anything? No. So something like that. Tack those onto there. So, for reference, um, let's get our let's get our bearings here. So, pin one is ground. Pin eight is twelve volts. So, pin one is ground. Which is all right. Pin one right here. That's ground. This is ground. All right. All right, it in. Let's get these soldered in there. Let's get this dip in here. Soldered in there. Sponge a bit of water. I don't know how much I'm doing of this tonight, but we'll do a little bit of it anyway. I get up early in the morning, morning, head on the highway for 7 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah. I don't want to be too late here tonight. <clears throat> what? Anyway, let's solder. Solder that one. 
Try that one. Trust little solder sucker can't deal with it. Shorts. Alright. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark this so I know what's pin one. Again, pin one is, according to the diagram, pin one is ground. So, this here is pin one up here. That's pin one. There we go. Pin one. Now we got our orientation here now. <clears throat> okay. So I gotta turn this this way or this way this way I think is it? So you can see it. Or is this upside down for you guys? I can't I don't know. <laughs> anyway. So we've got let's go what we got going on here boys. Let's put in our one our, our one according to the diagram. Where are we to? Where are we at? R1 is 1K. R1 is 1K. So we need to find ourselves a 1K resistor. 1K is brown, black, red. So it will be brown, black, red. Right there. Yeah, brown, black, red. So just bend the leads like so. stand the resistor straight up. What do you say? Stand the resistor straight up. What do you think? I say straight up. She fits there a lot better like that. Before I do that, do I got some spaghetti? A little bit of spaghetti here. That we can put on the, on the lead. We need to have a short circuit going on here, huh?
just like that. All right. And he's over. Saturday. Takes a bit of bit of heat to get that uh, get that solder flowing on that old traces. Alright. There we go. One resistor. One K. Right there. Now yeah. what's next? Just use me phone here going back and forth. So um so that's resistor one. Now down here in this corner is resistor two. Resistor two. Uh -huh. Resistor two, which is right there. It's also a one K resistor. So from black red. They're so small. <laughs> Some more spaghetti on her. Spaghetti on the lead. Bend her on over. I'm loosening it at your own. So this one goes down into this corner. Down here. Just where that one lives, right there. Just like that. Yeah, solder that in there. the axis all right two resistors are in okay now what's next um, one two R three so we got R three and four R three R four so R three which will go here, R4, which is there. Okay. What's R3? R3 is 10K, R4 is 1 mag. Alright, let's make sure we get them in the right spots here. <laughs> so R3 is over this side, closer to this side is R3. Again, 10 meg. Alright, or 10k. Alright, 10k. That's brown, black, orange. This one here. Brown, black, orange. So I'll upload this video and like if you guys are really enjoying these, maybe I can do more of these, you know what I mean? Put 
spaghetti on. Bend over the resistor again, over the lead. Poker in the hole. Let's see. Put her this way. Nope, put her this way. Not really enough room for two resistors to kind of. She's, she's sitting out there too far. I'm going to try to play with resistors a little bit so they fit fit nice on the board. Alright. So bend that one over. Bend that one over. Like that. I'm not going to solder in that one over that yet until I get the 10 mag put on there. Let's put 10 mag and I'll solder those together. So. 10 mag is brown, black, blue. Do we have a brown, black, blue? Looks like he's right there. Is that him? Is that him? That's brown, black, green. Let's see. Is there a blue, black, Hmm. Wait, now let me get this right. Oh, one mag. Never mind. Ten mag. What am I getting on with? <clears throat> Brown, black, green. Brown, black, green. So, I'm going sp to spaghetti eyes that one. Spaghetti eyes. Right. Okay, there was more angels video bombed us again. Anyway, so back to this. <laughs> so that's our uh, one meg. So now we'll solder those in. Me, we. Why do we say we? There's only me here. <laughs> I'm going to solder this in. Trim off the leads. Alright. Okay, so there's our one, two, three, and four. Alright. So. Alright, we're two, three, and four. Any more resistors here? Uh, excuse me, boys, I got hiccups. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we got R5 and R6. So we got R5 is right here, R6 is right here. I'm orientating this board, so the exact same as this one here. Alright, so I'm going to put R5, let's see, 
Her five is what is R five? Uh, R five is twenty two K to a hundred K. I guess it doesn't really matter. Well, you know. So Let's put in R6 first, 4.7k. 4.7. As yellow, violet, red. Which is this one over here, looks like. Yep. Yellow, violet, red. Spaghetti eyes that one. Okay, four point seven. Four point seven, which is our six. Six. Okay, so that one goes across. Okay, so R6. R6 goes across here. If you don't drop it on the floor a hundred times. So there's R6. Right there. That one put in. So, R5, so R5 is right here now, we just put in R6 right here, this is R5, and R5, now the parts list for R5 calls for 47k. Stay on my screen. Okay, so R5 costs for 47k, but it may be 22 to 100k. So, how many resistors we got left here? One. Okay, let's see. 47k. Yellow, violet, orange. We got a yellow, violet, orange. What did the kit supply us with? What's this one? He got. Looks like. Orange, orange, orange. Thirty three K. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go with a thirty three K. That's what's supplied with the kit. That's what we'll put on it. That's what we'll stick in there. This spaghetti is kind of long.
She goes right there. All right, let's see if we can solder that in. Our resistors all installed. Anyway, we'll, uh, I'm going to do this in parts, what I'll do with these videos. It's 10 10 there now. I say I got to go early tomorrow morning. So we'll go with the resistors for tonight. Let's make sure there's no others left to put in. Let's see, make sure. I don't think there should be any more left. There is not. Alright. Okay, so we'll go with that. So tomorrow night, we'll uh, we'll leave this one for tonight for this vid for this video part. Tomorrow night we'll uh, work on the capacitors. Let's scatter one of them in here. How many she's got? She got one, two, three. Three capacitors, one varactor. Okay, so what we'll do tomorrow night, we'll put in the uh, the capacitors, the varactor, and uh, the two diodes. That's what we'll do tomorrow night. We'll put the two diodes, the uh, three capacitors, or should yeah, three diodes, three capacitors, and one varactor. That's what we'll put in tomorrow. Anyway. So we'll see you tomorrow evening, folks. Same place, same time. Right here. On Reddit 63. This is the Homebrew Spectrum Analyzer. From 73 Magazine, March 1990. According to what's on, stamped on the day. <laughs> there it goes. We'll uh, see you on the next video. All the best. And seven three.